morning everyone this winter has been something else so far or should I say this fall it's not even winter yet I'm here near Brainerd Minnesota last night we drove down here I got hooked up to the trailer we came down here and as soon as I got to Fargo or around that area because I came down I-29 right because I was at home hit this big snowstorm again And it seems wherever I go, the snow keeps testing me. It's not so bad here. I believe this town is called Pillager, Minnesota. Just down the road from uh, where I gotta deliver this freight. But it is snowing. Guess I better just get used to this, eh? can't believe it I actually uh, had more snow on this trailer than what you see here got rid of some of it as we went down the road but it's definitely been an interesting start to the season I'm about to do my pre-trip here clean off all the lights get ready to go deliver and hopefully from there we go anywhere where it's not snowing. Hopefully it's not snowing at home. It's just, take a look at this. I cleaned off those taillights four times yesterday. <laughs> but what can you do with that season? Rolling, rolling, rolling. So as we're rolling into Brainerd here, we have a light snow fallen on us we're at minus two celsius it's about 30 fahrenheit maybe high 20s fahrenheit roads are good just a little wet hopefully from here uh things will just improve i have a reload that's waiting for me in duluth minnesota it's taking me back home I'd like to get that loaded today yet, but with the weather and the weather last night, which delayed me into today, I may be loading it tomorrow morning. We'll see. A lot of you have asked me uh, why I have such a high shifter, stick shift in my truck. I bought the truck like that, so the owners before me did that. It's mostly for looks. I think it looks cool, but uh, for me, I actually find it more comfortable. I like it there. It's uh, easier to reach, and it doesn't get in the way. It's just a preference, I guess. Oh, you can get these extensions at any like chrome shop, like in Sock Center, Minnesota. They sell them. You just put the extension on here, and then. Uh, Connect the airlines, gotta extend the airlines a little bit. You're good to go. There's Paul Bunyan again on that sign. Tell you what, Minnesota's obsessed with Paul Bunyan. It's gotta be a part of the history. You guys explained it to me in my comment sections a little while ago. I'll have to go back and reread them again. little town every time I hear that turbo spool up it's just oh. yeah that's what you live for right there Is our turn.
pedestrian park road. That right lane ends up ahead, so I'm gonna get in this lane right off the bat, so I don't have to worry about people not letting me in a block up there. All these American small towns, small cities, I just love them. They're exactly like, like I've said many times before, exactly like the Canadian ones, like very small differences. There's just so many more of them. Like there's so many small towns in the US. my tarps outside I believe but then I can unload my trailer inside at this location so that's a bonus they're letting me take my tarps off inside <laughs> no working outside in the snow for me today Snowstorms. Day tonight. It's about 15 minutes down the road from the shipper. Or the other option, which I'm going to take, they offered me that I could park on their property. Well, it's 
parked on a little access road that goes to their property outside their gate but I can park right there and be first in line tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. when they start loading so I got enough food and water in here I don't need to stay here the weather isn't too cold outside so I'm not too worried about all of a sudden you know my truck shutting off uh, I've got a bunk heater that's working well and it's right in town where I'm going to so I'd be able to walk somewhere and you know I have a cell phone as well if it was minus 50 outside I'd probably want to stay a little closer to a 24-hour facility like this just in case if my engine decides you know I don't want to run anymore and my bunk heater stops working I need to go keep warm somewhere right but I'm gonna go sleep at the customer and be there for them first thing in the morning and get loaded up at 6 a.m. hopefully be out of there by like 7 7 7 7 30 depending on what it is it, it usually doesn't take too long to tie down this stuff it's very uh it's big heavy pieces of steel that uh, are very low so it, the only problem i have with that is that my straps are really pretty long and i gotta roll them up that's like a non-issue so if we can get out of there by 7 30 we'll be back at our yard i'm just bringing it to our yard in manitoba later that afternoon and I can either run home for night or they can send me somewhere for another reload to keep me going. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go uh, park myself there before anyone else does so that I'm first in line. So if it wasn't for that snowstorm last night, I could have been at my receiver this morning a lot earlier, been unloaded and possibly even gotten reloaded here before they closed. Shipping department at this place where I'm going to closes at 2 p.m extremely inconvenient but that's the way it is so i couldn't make it there by then it's some i've been taking my time but it's the four o'clock right now would have been nice to have been reloaded and i could have been back home tonight yet but it's just another snowstorm right becoming just the expected my neighbor Tony always tells me to expect the unexpected and be prepared. Well, I'm going to tell him next time, you know what, maybe I should start expecting the expected. A snowstorm every day. It's just what I've come to expect. And I'm not surprised and upset about it. Well, just another like 15, 20 minutes down the road or so. I've got some food cooking in my truck here already. It should be nice and hot by the time I get there and shut the truck down, have some nice chicken noodle soup. And then relax, I guess, for a bit. I mean, it'll be about 4.15, 4.30, and I've got to be awake probably at about 5 a.m. so that I'm ready for 6. I can turn left from here, right? Yeah. There's no sign saying I can't. As long as that pickup truck waits for me. Oh, he's not gonna wait. No, oh, he's going straight, okay. I should've gone. Now I gotta wait for those guys. And then once those guys are passed, I'm gonna have to wait for this guy. Coming over here. always way too nice okay this might be my chance after this after this truck here we go as long as that guy waits there nice I've stayed here before a couple of times familiar with that truck stop there and I've even stayed in this truck stop remember that that's that uh, abandoned truck stop but there's still lots of parking in the back there it's just kind of dark it's always interesting going to places that you think you've never been to before and then you pull in and you're like oh I remember this place <laughs> Carlton Minnesota Another small town. There's so many. 
I wish I had like all the time in the world and you know perfect weather every day and just go explore every single small town in Canada and the US. I've been to all the big cities. I want to go and see every single small town. Each one of them has their unique character. I love when I have time to like go visit a local restaurant in a small town that I'm visiting. I'm like a little paid tourist. Always stopped. Always stop. Left, right, up, down, in front of me, behind me. It's my turn. Isn't this cool? I wonder who lives here. I'm like, what are they like? What is their life stories? What brought them here to Carlton, Minnesota? How long have they lived here? Have they been living here for generations? Or did they move here recently? Or maybe they were born here? Beautiful homes. Oh, look at that one there, tucked into the bush. That is nice. A little close to the road for me and close to the neighbor here, but... I love it.
That is the sound of the end of the day. As we wait here until morning. And just a little heads up, just here at the end of the vlog. Uh, if you guys are trying to get a hold of me, uh, please stop trying to reach out to me through my wife's social media posts by posting comments toward me or questions for me or asking her to ask me something in her comment sections. That's not my pages. It's just going to get ignored there. Those are her social media pages. If you want to get a hold of me, I have a ton of my own social media pages where you can get a hold of me. Just a heads up, if you want to get an answer from me or get a message to me, it wouldn't be, uh, it, it won't work if you go and try to comment on her page. Hey, can you tell Josh this? Hey, what about this? Hey, uh, can you ask Josh this or that? Just so you know. That, that's her posts. Keep your comments related to her post in that case. Okay. Public service announcement. Uh, I'm just getting ready to start editing here and relax. It's about 6 p.m. I have 12 hours until the gate in front of me there opens. And guess what? Guess what? It's snowing. So have a good night, everybody. I'll probably wake up covered in snow again. See you tomorrow.